up and down weekend for the Power 5 Saturday's edition. It was great. We cashed outright winners with Vandy in the first half. Commodores went on to win, pull the outright upset. Arkansas over Tennessee, Texas Tech over Arizona Sunday was not so good. At least I had the Hartford Whalers shirt on, and I'm still on an 122-106 overall run with free plays here on the show. Of course, I had a monster weekend over at wagertalk.com, which I'll be telling you about in just a bit. But first, let's roll through the Power 5 for Monday. We've got two MLB playoff games and Monday Night Football. I've got you covered with five free winners. As a reminder, you can go ahead and let me know what you think of these selections down in the comments section here on YouTube. And if you agree, then don't be afraid to smash that like button. Here we go. 408 Eastern Cleveland Guardians. Money line around plus 110 versus the Detroit Tigers. Yes, I'm fading Scooble. The Guardians closed around minus 135 in their 7 0 game one victory. I get that Scooble's fantastic. He's the presumptive AL Cy Young winner. However, his presence on the mound alone should not justify a price shift to this degree. The Guardians are the better team here. They had the best home record in the American League during the regular season. They should not be underdogs in this spot, in my opinion. Look at Detroit's last series when they faced Baltimore. They closed around plus 120 with Scooble on the mound for Game 1. Now, they did close around plus 150 for Game 2, so there was a 30-cent difference with and without him, with versus without him, but I just think it's too much. Give me the better team, better lineup, and better bullpen. That's Cleveland. I look for them to go up 2-0 in this best-of-five series. Matthew Boyd, a former Tiger, starting for the Guardians. By the way... When Scooble did allow only one run in seven innings during his lone regular season outing against Cleveland, he did give up 10 hits. So he was lucky to give up only one run, in my opinion. Guardians go up 2-0 in that series. Number two, how about the other ALDS matchup for Monday? Royals at Yankees, 738 Eastern start. So far, we have yet to see an undercash in the LDS. Game one of Tigers-Guardians pushed on seven, and since then it's been five straight overs. Saturday's game one between the Royals and Yanks was among the highest scoring of the bunch with 11 total runs scored. Well, I would not be surprised if game two of Yankees-Royals provided us with that first, uh, that elusive first under of the LDS. Really like the matchup for both starting pitchers here. Cole Reagans for Kansas City and Carlos Rodon for New York. Reagans is a lefty. The Yankees lineup tends to struggle a lot more when facing southpaws. And Reagans is a really good southpaw. We're talking about a guy with a .87 ERA his last five starts. That includes six innings against these Yankees where Reagans allowed only two runs on three hits. Then you've got Rodon with a 2.20 ERA his last five starts going against a Royals lineup that tends to not be as prolific on the road. I know they put up five runs in game one. I don't think that's going to happen here. Rodon allowed two earned runs or less. In 21 of his 32 regular season starts, including each of those last five. Royals are bottom five in WRC Plus against lefties this season. Here's the thing, though. I do not necessarily trust these bullpens, especially Kansas City's. So first five under. Shop around for four and a half. That's first five under. That is the way to go in this one. All right, let's now move to Monday Night Football. But before we do that, I've got to talk about my weekend at wagetalk.com. Led by my very first... 5% play of the NFL season. Denver minus 2.5, a a blowout winner. It was a perfect 5-0 sweep across Saturday and Sunday. I am now a perfect 7-0 with all client releases to start the month of October. An incredible 29-13, 69% with all football. That's NFL plus college this season. That is number one at wagertalk.com right now. Today is your last chance to get down on that great special offer I've been talking about. Seven days for just $77. That'll give you all this week's football winners. Not to mention anything I release in the MLB playoffs. No coupon code is needed. Just head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Now on to Monday Night Football. I've got two player props and a take on the total for you. Patrick Mahomes to throw an interception. Yes, at minus 130. As you know, the Chiefs receiving core is just really decimated because of injuries coming to this game. Rasheed Rice uh, being the latest and most notable injured receiver for KC. Surprisingly, Mahomes has already made seven turnover-worthy throws this season. That is third most in the league behind only Jalen Hurts and Bo Nix. And the Saints already have six interceptions in four games. So as the odds suggest, we should not be surprised if they pick off Mahomes here. Bet yes 
on Mahomes to throw an interception tonight. Uh, on that note, I also like Kareem Hunt over 50 yards rushing. Rushing, Pardon me. Since the Chiefs are limited at receiver, why not hand it off a bit more? Uh, thankfully, it does look like the Chiefs have given up on Carson Steele at running back, so Hunt's going to get the bulk of the carries tonight. He had 69 yards on 14 carries versus the Chargers last week. For tonight, you can get over 50 at plus 140 at DraftKings. I know you guys like those plus prices, so over 50 plus 140 for Kareem Hunt. Uh, rushing yards this evening. And I like the under 43 in Saints Chiefs tonight. This has already taken a quite a bit of money. You may want to wait and see if the number gets bat, bet back up any. Not only is Mahomes making far too many turnover-worthy throws, but he's also on pace to blow away his career low in passing yards per game. It is the Last year was his, his previous low at around 260-something. He's only averaging like 229. This year, his intended air yards, second lowest among all qualified passers this season. And the Saints defense, guys, we, let's talk about that. Number two in DVOA overall, number three in pass DVOA, and number one in passer rating allowed. Remember, they did not allow an offensive touchdown last week against Atlanta. It was a very unfortunate loss. New Orleans got off to that great start to the season, scoring 91 points in its first two games. Well, they scored just 36 the last two games. No Taysom Hill tonight either. Uh... Kansas City's defense, number seven in points allowed. That's why they're 4-0, not because the offense will look for a low-scoring affair on Monday Night Football. And we are now going to recap the Power Five for you guys in case you missed anything. Number one, Cleveland Guardians, plus 110 on the money line against the Detroit Tigers. Number two, Royals-Yankees, first five under four and a half. Number three, as we shift to Monday Night Football, Patrick Mahomes to throw an interception. Yes, around minus 130. Kareem Hunt, over 50 rushing yards. That's around plus 140 at DraftKings. And then number five, under 43 for Saints Chiefs. You can go ahead and let me know what you think of those selections. And do not be shy about dropping your best bets for Monday Night Football or today's MLB playoff slate down in that comment section below. Also, if you'd be so kind again, I'd appreciate the thumbs up if you are enjoying this free content here on Wager Talk TV. Earlier I mentioned it is now a perfect 7-0 start to October for me at wagertalk.com. Number one in football this season with a combined 29-13 and 13 record in NFL plus college. For tonight, I do have a 4% best bet on the side of Saints Chiefs. So I gave you for free two player props in a total. My best bet is on the side. To get that, you head on over. WT.buzz slash BP, only $25 for that winner. But don't forget, you can still get the next seven days for $77. That's a much better deal. Uh, before you head on over to my page to get tonight's 4% best bet, make sure you are subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel and click that bell for instant alerts when your favorite shows like this one or the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno drop. That's going to do it for Monday's edition of the Power Five. Hope you enjoyed it. Until every time, until next time, everybody, let's cash some tickets.